All right, so we're going to do Austin by Co Wetzel in this one. Um, this one was requested by Austin. So there is a lot going on in this song, and um, it's a little hard. Like, I could have done it with the loop pedal, could have done it. So what I landed on, we're going to play the rhythm on acoustic, and then we'll learn that the intro solo on electric, because it's obviously electric, and I can't reach it. Um, but getting into this one, it's not, it's not too bad. Um, it's not super easy, but it's not real bad. You're going to go um, your big D shape here. So barring fifth fret and then your A shape on your seventh fret. So it's going to be five, seven, 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 five. And all you're going to do is play your A and then down two string. Strum. Going straight down to hammer on E minor. So. Which is this going to be one of, I don't know if I can get you in camera. It's just going to be your uh, two, two. So open, two, two, open up, open up. And it's real distorted sound and real noisy, so really you can just kind of get some back strums in there. Into this Hendrix chord, which technically has a thumb on it, but he doesn't play the thumb, so. That is gonna be nothing, nothing, and then five, four, three, one, with your pinky. So, so far. going to be a regular D and you're going to hammer on with your high E and then that real distinct that kind of goes on throughout those is in your D shape and you're just going to hammer on and pull off on your high E and then hit your B straight back and so that's running the whole time again I played this one on acoustic um, some of them it's electric. I know a couple live versions it's electric, but that's the acoustic version of that. Um, and then to do this intro without my guitar falling, um, on electric, um, the real loud, the, uh, that one, we'll get into that one here to get you a little closer. Um, and this one obviously as well is just extremely loud, extremely distorted. So, you know, and I was also going by here, but what you're going to get your bottom three strings barred on the 14th fret. And then you put your middle finger on your 15th fret on the B string, second string from the bottom. And those are locked. Those don't move the whole time. All you're doing is dancing with your ring and your pinky. All they're doing, that's the entire combination. It's just kind of what order you're placing them in. So the first one. It's kind of a rake, you know, kind of mute the top top three. Uh, don't have to, you can also just play them. But, sorry, getting distracted. <laughs> so it's gonna be uh, on your G string, you're gonna hammer on from 14 to 16. And then that middle finger is locked on your B string. And then put your pinky down on your Oh, 16th, 17th, 17th fret. <laughs> and then your high E is locked on that bar. So. Whoop. And then walk it down. So the high E, B, B. So. And then right back. But that one you're just going to stop on your middle finger. And then it kind of ends that bar, kind of rings out for a second, back on your G string. And then it plays it one more time. That is your intro there. And keep in mind, again, you could have gone with the loop pedal. I'm not overly distorted, just so you can kind of hear it. Um, but the whole time that... That is also churning in the background while you're coming in with the... So... If you have a loop pedal, you can put those together. If you just have one guitar, might be a little tough spacing them out. But again, uh, now you have all the parts to it. Just keep the rhythm running and um, buy a xylophone. You can play that background beat too. <laughs>